Yo, Elliot, I've been reading a lot of Goodard and Nightingale over the past couple weeks. Both very good authors. I came across a line that said, in order to get into the top 5%, we must often cut ourselves away from the effects of our environment and become individuals with individual thinking and individual action. So my question is, how can we do this and maintain our connections with people without becoming a hermit? So I heard somebody say this once, and it was a really good idea. He said that when there's people in your life that you realize are anchors, you know, but maybe they're people that you love, right? Like you, you have family members like, yo, I love you, man, but you holding me back with your negative thinking and your negative attitude and so on and so forth. So I can't cut you out of my life, nor do I want to. I love you, but I can't, I can't, I can't ascend with your heaviness. So I believe it was Bedros. Bedros Koulian said, you don't cut those people out of your life. You can't. You edit them out of your life. <laughs> edit them out of your life. And so what does that mean? What does edit mean? Edit, when you edit a document, you don't cut the whole document out. You just cut off parts of it that don't serve the overall document. And so when you edit people out of your life, you got to do certain things. Like when they start talking negative, you turn around and walk away. We here together, it's Christmas or it's, it's Thanksgiving or it's a 4th of July barbecue. And I, you know, of course I invite you because you're my blood, blood and, and family. But when you start up with that shit, I'm walking away. I edit you, you know, you, 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 you just turn the volume off. Right? It's like having the TV on, but turning the volume off when the commercials come on. I used to do that when I used to watch TV when I was a kid. We'd be watching TV, but as soon as the commercials come on, you know the TV gets louder, if you ever notice? As soon as the commercials come on, it get louder, so you got to edit. Oop, I'm not going to stop watching this TV show, but I got to edit this. Right? When an ad comes. <laughs> My kids don't even know what commercials are because they don't watch TV. You know, it's not a TV age anymore. It's a, it's a video age. So my kids call them ads. <laughs> Oh, an ad came. You know, what do they do when an ad comes? They wait until they can click that button to edit the ad out of their video. Damn, there's another ad. So when you were around the people that you got to edit out of your life, you just click that, you click that button to, to bypass the ad. <laughs> right? Oh, here you go with this shit again. Click, and then you walk away. Come back later when it's like, okay, oh, we back to regularly scheduled programs. Okay, good, we can continue talking. As soon as they start that stuff up again, it's just like another ad came, click, and you walk away. You edit, you edit those people out of your life. You don't try to argue with them. You don't try to change them. You just click the button that takes, that skips the ad. <laughs> and that's how you do it, dude. You don't have to be a hermit, right? You don't have to cut yourself off or cut people out of your life. You just got to decide when and what you're going to let come into, basically come into your eyes and ears. Right? That's where you got to create the boundaries. Well, I don't want to see that. This is my dad. My dad would do this a lot, too. He got some sisters that were, you know, not great women. They'll be like, you know, hopping from man to man. They were hot girls, you know, back in the back in the 80s. My dad's younger sisters. He's got two younger sisters. Hot girls. And, you know, my dad was, it was all about, you know, marriage and family, right? My dad's an alpha male, but to him, it was like, yo, what are you doing? Are you, you you wasting your time hopping from man to man, making all these babies and having abortions? Why don't you just get married and stop being a retard? So they would, used to, they would come around and my dad would just, when they, you know, if they brought another man over, another, you know, just was showing him stuff he didn't want to see, when they would come over, he would just go upstairs and disappear. He'd go upstairs in his bedroom. And then when he they would leave and come downstairs and, you know, my mom and whatnot, and we would be like, Dad, where'd you go? Why, why did you leave? <laughs> and he would say, I'd rather not see that. What are you talking about, Dad? I don't want to see her new boyfriend. I don't want to see what she's doing. I He would say this, I'd rather don't know. That's one of my dad's favorite lines. I'd rather just not know because it's just going to make me mad at you. Let's stay, let's stay on good terms by me being ignorant 
about what you got going on. I don't want to know. I don't, please don't tell me what you got going on. I'd rather not know. We good. We good right now. But don't come in here telling me about the stuff that's just going to make me mad at you. <laughs> and that's the way it works, dude. That's how you keep them in your life. With the, you keep them out of your soul. Done.